This is a follow-up on a video I did uh, regarding Billy Hobbs, false serpent seed, teacher, and heretic. Um, he did a reply, and he basically he's calling everybody that doesn't agree with him Agent Smith. So I, I guess they're okay one day, and the next day they switch on him or something, and he's all upset because they try to correct him in his false teaching. And uh, I'm not saying Billy's a bad guy. And I'm not saying he doesn't know the Lord. I'm just saying that some of his teaching is jacked up. Um, and, he don't, and he lies. He's been li he's made these videos, uh, this response, and, and he's lying. He, and he says, I, I don't talk about love, never talk about love. I'm sitting here on the screen. I'm looking at my last uh, response to him, and it says, with love in Christ, Kev out. And the whole reason, Billy, that I'm you know, trying to correct you is because I love you, man. So, dude, where's your, what's your problem? But um, we're going to talk about a few kinks that you've got in your program here. Now, you said that you'll take your feelings, you know, of, of what the Spirit tells you over the Word, over the written friggin' Word. That, that's insane. Do you realize how insane that is? That's as bad as the Catholic Church saying that they, they take their, uh, the stuff the Pope says, you know, over what the Bible says. Isn't that what they say? Well, you're doing the same thing. And I, to I told you that you're preaching uh, and teaching fables. You know, the, uh, Eve did not have sex with Satan. Genesis 4 1. For Adam knew his wife, Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain. Said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. How much more clear can it get? Okay. And, and I, then all you got to do is look up fables. And you get all these verses that talk about the end times and how it's going to be. Now here's one for you. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with great patience and instruction. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. That's you. But wanting to have their ears tickled. I want to tickle other ears, which is my biggest concern. You know, you're a grown-up. If you want to believe myths and fables, that, that hey, you got it right. But, you know, my job as a watchman, when I see danger, i got to call it out. And you're dangerous right now. For they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance with their own desires. And will turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths and our fables. There's another thing. You made a big deal. The fact that uh, I used the King James Bible and every quote I did was King James Bible in big verse, big uh, letters. Well, dude, you know, when I cut and paste from my program, it does it. I didn't type that in there. This is the program I use. It's called Olive Tree. And when I copy and paste these and I and I post it it gives the source I mean isn't that what Bible study is about or studying anything is about knowing the source what's wrong with knowing the source you know you're as bad as these new agers that get the channel you know that they get this uh, you know they hear stuff in their head well I'll tell you what you know as opposed to hearing stuff in my head, I'll go what's written in this book because Jesus is the one who said not one dot or one tittle will you know, pass away until my word be fulfilled, his word in the book, you know, the, the word that became flesh. That's the whole reason we have this book. It's an, it's an instruction manual, Billy. But you want to throw it out. You want to downplay it. You want to act like it's nothing. But anyway, there's all these verses in here. All you got to do is look up fables or myths, and, and, and it tells you. He says, for there will be religious, or excuse me, there will be many rebellious men, empty talkers, deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, which is Jews, um, who must be silenced because they are upsetting whole families, teaching things, they should not teach for the sake of sordid gain. I mean, gee, Billy, where do you get your income from? You know, you talk about kids, kids, kids. Uh, uh, you probably eat off that same plate, don't you? 
I'm not saying it's a bad, it's bad, you know, to, to feed kids. It's a good, good thing. And I got no problem with you eating off the same plate. But, you know, I, I, it, you're kind of easy to see through. All right? So, and then it goes further and it says, this testimony is true. For, the, for this reason, reprove them severely so that they may be sound in faith and not paying attention to Jewish myths. That's exactly what I told you in my previous video, which you say you didn't watch. You say it was too long, yet your video is longer than mine. I think it's like four minutes longer. So, you know, I could make this video here two hours, but I'm going to try to keep it, you know, within five minutes because that's about the attention span, you know, that we have these days. But, um... Let's see, I did another deal here, and I actually did a transcript of, you know, every word you said. There you go, talking to Agent Smith. Anybody that doesn't agree with you is an Agent Smith. That's crazy. That's childishness. You've been sharing your testimony for six years. What, do you want to hear my testimony? Jesus is Lord. He saved me. Just like he saved everybody else he saves. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not a Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him the world might be saved. Okay? What do you want to hear? How pathetically, you know, sick I was or something? You know, I know, I know you've had a problem with drugs and booze and all kinds of problems. And you, what do you want me to, you know, I don't know. I, yeah, jump in a ditch and sit, tell people how bad I was and how much the Lord did. Well, you know, I was a sinner. I was destined to hell. And he saved me. You know, I, I grew up in an abusive family. You know, there's some meat for you. My mother had three uh, dead children before me. There's some meat. That's good, huh? One died of SIDS, one died of pneumonia, and one drowned in a washing machine. She went out to the porch one day, the next door neighbor, she came back, she had unfortunately left the, the lid open, and, and all she could see, legs going around. How's that? That's meat for you, Billy? She was a chronic alcoholic. My dad used to beat her from one end of the house to the other. I had to live with that. When he finally divorced her because he couldn't get her to stop drinking because he didn't know, you know, how to handle it, then he started beating on me. Enough said. Um, you've been walking in the spirit, God's spirit. That's good. God will heal you. That is good. You say what you say is true. Christ within. That's very good. Um, but you, you talk about every time you step off and go a little bit deeper, those spirits, religious spirits, you know, come out, you know, out of the woodwork. Well, maybe it's because your teaching is not accurate, Billy, but you won't even look at it. You openly admit you wouldn't even look at my, you know, read my video or listen to my video or, or listen to the, the Bible verses. How can you be a teacher if you don't know the word? Oh, here's a good one. You never once made a video about anybody saying a person is false. And you never will. Or anything they say is false. Okay? And you never will. Well, guess what? You're not in compliance with the Word. Because I just read to you in Timothy where it says that's what the Word is for. Rebuke, reproof, instruction. So you're not in compliance. Uh, hello? <sighs> the... <laughs> I don't know if I can find it here, but then you said the King James Version is my idol. Seriously. You know, the reason I use the King James is because I believe it's the most accurate. And I believe I can prove that. Would you like to debate it? You know, what do you use? NIV? Well, they take it out hundreds of verses? Or maybe the new King James? Where they swapped hell, changed the, taken hell out, I think, what, 23 times? 
Do some research. Your ignorance is showing, Billy. Uh, people's desires just on what they run around, person's fault, teaching. Oh, okay, so you made a comment that I've got a lot of videos where I'm calling people out. Well, and that's what the Bible says to do. Uh, not all my videos are calling people out, but you know what? Right now, there just happens to be a lot of false teachers, and you're one of them. Rap the News is another one. You know, he denies Jesus. Claims to love God. Says the black people the only ones are going to be saved for the most part. Says that the, the New Testament is uh, false religion. And, and definitely Paul, he says, is a false apostle. But yet he turns right around and quotes Paul every other day to try to prove a point. The guy's whack. Okay? I'm not supposed to call him out. I'm not supposed to say something. I'm not, what am I supposed to do? Do like you? And sit there and twiddle my thumbs and let it deceive hundreds, if not thousands, of people, like Jonathan Cleck, telling everybody we're all a bunch of fall, fallen angels and that Satan created us. When John, when the first chapter of John says that nothing was created that Christ didn't create, that doesn't mean Satan can't corrupt something, though. Once he created it, now Satan did do that. Here you go. You said that. that uh, you never hear about how the power of God's love came into their life and changed them. See, so, you know, hey, God changed me, okay? I had it all. I had yachts, Corvettes, motorcycles, women, all of it. I don't need to share the sordid details, okay? Then you say, uh... Here is King James, you know, you hear their paper doctrines. Their paper doctrines, the Word of God, paper doctrines. No, it's the Word that you, you, you hide in your heart. Because there's problems. You ever heard of the Mandela effect? You probably don't believe that. But, you know, I've got Bible verses that I memorized, you know, when I was four, five, six years old. Used to say wineskins, now it says bottles. That's just one of many. Um, got hit with a message, stopped reading it. See, you, you don't even want to hear what I got to say. You want to hear and you want to believe what's in your head. Well, if you remember Peter, um, was basically rebuking Christ when he said he had to go die on a cross and, and Jesus had to rebuke him and said, you know, you know not spirit what spirit you speak of? That is you, Billy. Because you don't know the word. And if Peter knew the word, he, he would know that it was prophesied way back in the Old Testament that Christ had to come and die like he did. Okay? Serpent seed, hearsay, pit of hell. Let's see what else you've got here. Anyway, all right, enough of this one. Now, something else I want to go over with you really quick, because I, I know you're such a busy guy. Here's one for you. If I become your enemy, Billy, because I tell you the truth, because I try and try to get you not to adhere to Jewish fables and myths, I already showed you that. You treat me like I'm an enemy. You call me names. Agent Smith, really? Here you go. Study to make every effort to present yourself approved. That means study. You said you flat said in your in your little rant that you should you didn't have to study. Yet Second Timothy two fifteen says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word, which you can't do. Sorry, just the facts, Billy. Also, you said Cain um, was a murder from the beginning. Sorry, Billy. That scripture is John 8, 44, talking about Satan, not Cain.
you blew it again. Why? Because you don't study the word. He was murdered from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speak, he speaketh a lie. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's not Cain, that's Satan, Billy. Let's see, what else I got for you? Almost done. Um, all you got to do is to do a little verse. Search here, like I told you before, fables, Bible verse. Just look up fables, Bible verses, and you get all these lists. How many you want? There's a lot of them. So, Billy, look, brother, I might have slapped you around a little bit tonight, but, you know, I, I, I'm doing it in love. You're being ridiculous. I'm not an Agent Smith. I'm a believer. And I could probably teach you a few things if you'd listen. But I don't think you will. It's like, you know, and not, not only that, but you made fun of the, the prepper gentleman on my channel, you know, saying, where's the love? Well, Jesus is the one who said, you know, so you your, your cloak and buy a sword. My Bible says a man that doesn't take care of his own family is worse than an infidel, which is a non believer. So my prepper friend is right on. And he's better than my real dad, who is a fake preacher who abandoned me. Yeah, there's some more meat for you. You want testimony? So you didn't have time to raise kids. How do you go preach the gospel? I know all about false teachers and preachers. I mean, he's like you. He thinks he's doing the right thing. I hope he makes it. I really do. But, hey man, I do love you. I do care about you. The reason I'm taking time to try to correct you is that's what this book says to do. All right, so again, God does speak to me, but everything he says has got to be confirmed in here. If you're hearing things from someone that you think is the Lord, but it contradicts what this book says, you better just forget what you heard, because this is, this is what you're going to be judged by, what's written. Jesus, when he defeated the devil, how'd he do it? Three verses, quoted three scriptures. Same thing I'm trying to do to you, Billy. Quoting scripture, but you're putting me down for it. You got some problems, buddy. Love you. And by the way, I hope the dinghy information I sent you a week or two ago helped. You never even thanked me for it. That's love. I went through the trouble of digging it out and sending it to you. I didn't even get a thank you. It's okay. It's just what I do. I try to help where I can. But, uh, I don't know, Billy. You want to talk? Call me. Maybe we can have a meeting of the minds. But Eve didn't have sex with Satan. Because, like I said, God never would have accepted the son of Satan. Think, Billy. Think. And God had offered to accept Cain if he did well. It's written. Think, Billy. Love you.